today's problem is uh, from the heart of algebra and from SAT, and it's kind of wordy problem, so let's go over it together. The average number of students per classroom, which is y, y is the number of students, can be estimated using this equation, and x represents the number of years since 2004, it's less than or equal than 10. Now, which of the following is the best interpretation of this number, 0.8636, in the context of this problem? And there are several options. It might be an average um, number of students, an average number um, of students in 2004, average number of students in 2014, the estimated yearly decrease, uh, and the estimated yearly increase in the average number of students per classroom. Well, if you look at this equation, it does remind us of the equation y equals mx plus b, which is a linear equation, an equation of a line in a point slope form. And this one is the slope, it's the rate of change, right? So it's how much something is increasing or decreasing. So it has to be either c or d. Now we know that the slope is going to be positive, this number is positive, so it is the estimated yearly increase, not decrease, because that number is still positive even though it's less than one, it's still positive, so the slope of the line is positive, it's increasing. It is not the number of students, because number of students would have been um, y, um, and this one is not a y, that's a number that we multiply the x, the number of years, um, by to figure out the number of students. So the correct answer here is d.